What's up guys, welcome back. Today we're making sheet crab soup. As always, the instructions and ingredients will be listed in the description below. We're gonna get started by grating our vegetables, which include two stalks of celery and a half of a yellow onion. You can do this in a food processor or a blender as well. I find that the cheese grater works exceptionally well for this. We really want the veggies to be really finely sliced so that they really dissolve in the soup as we cook and leave behind that delicious flavor. So great until your heart is content or until you start to skin your fingers a little bit. Be careful with that cheese grater. This is what we're looking like when we're done. And now we have our Dutch oven or soup pot nice and warm, adding a few tablespoons of butter. Once the butter begins to melt, we're gonna go ahead and add in those grated vegetables. Give them time to release their flavor. Going in with the onion there, followed by the celery. Just mix that around in that melted butter until the vegetables become translucent and nice and tender. At which point we'll go ahead and season with salt and pepper. This is a very regional dish, um, very popular in the mid-Atlantic region, South Carolina, up to like Maryland. Some places call it cream of crab. They call it she crab in my region because it's traditionally used with female blue crabs and crab roe. But today we're not using crab roe, we're using this delicious lobster base from a company called Better Than Bouillon. This, in my opinion, adds delicious flavor. It's even better than crab roe, in my personal opinion. I know some uh, she crab enthusiasts will disagree with me, but uh, create your own YouTube channel. So now we're going in with our flour. That's gonna be our thickening agent. Essentially, we're making a roux right here. It's gonna turn into a paste once that flour is absorbed. Cook that off for about a minute or two to remove any raw flour taste. And then we're adding our heavy cream and milk. Give that a nice mix. We're gonna switch to the whisk here in a second just to make sure we get rid of any clumps in the sauce. There we go, nice and smooth. Now we're gonna add two bay leaves. Give it one more mix. And we're gonna bring it up to a boil and then reduce it to a simmer. Be careful and make sure that there's nothing sticking to the bottom or burning up at the bottom or on the sides. You wanna stir this occasionally. As you can see, the soup is thickening up beautifully. Already smelling and tasting delicious. Remember to taste as you go, that's very important. You can adjust the flavors as needed. Try to add your salt towards the end because once it's in there, you can't take it out. Get everything off the sides and then we're going in with our chicken stock. That's gonna thin things out a little bit. Make sure that's worked in beautifully as you see me doing there with my rubber spatula. Highly recommend those, those are awesome kitchen utensils. If you don't have one, go ahead and get you one from Amazon. Now we're going in with sherry wine. Sherry wine has a very unique flavor and it's critical for this dish. I highly recommend you get it. If you can't find it in the grocery store, please order it online if you wanna make this dish. It adds a very unique flavor profile. Now we're going in with some Worcestershire sauce and some hot sauce. You can add as much or as little as you like. I recommend probably about a tablespoon or so of each. Make sure that that is mixed in perfectly. Now for the key ingredient. For my mid-Atlantic folks, you know all about Old Bay. We're going in with a hefty serving of this. There we go. Now we're looking like she crab soup. Taste test is very important. The face says it all. We haven't even added the crab meat yet. There we go. 
here we're using some nice lump crab meat if you can get your hands on some fresh blue crab that's the way to go but if not lump crab meat will work just fine if you're on a budget you could even use claw don't tell anybody I told you that going in with a little bit more sherry wine and now we're gonna mix that crab meat into our soup you want to add the crab meat at the end because the crab meats already cooked a little fresh cracked pepper looking good we're in the home stretch people continue to move things off the sides go ahead and fish out those bay leaves sparing not a drop of the soup now we're gonna plate this up in a soup bowl with a little bit of leftover lump crab meat a few dashes of Old Bay a little bit of hot sauce and then we're gonna garnish this bad boy up with some fresh chive. It's time for a trademark money shot. That, my friends, is a bowl of she crab soup. Go ahead and mix everything together. I have got to taste this one. I'm not an actor, people. The face tells it all. I actually didn't realize my cameraman was still recording. I polished that bowl off immediately. I was starving. This took a long time to shoot. Shot a couple things in one day and I was ready for lunch. I'm glad he got this footage though. Hope you guys enjoy it. That is my she crab soup recipe. Give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Enable your notifications. And as always, thank you for your support.